Bar. These two believed to be fighting tonight for a purse close on six figures. Morris Hope getting his biggest ever purse, of course, upwards of 50,000 pounds. And Mike Baker, the white American, well, rather less than that. Baker, pale complexion and puffy face. He's got two enormous bags underneath the eyes, as though he's been punched around there an awful lot. Hope's first defense of the title he won in San Remo last March from Rocky Mattioli, the Italian-Australian. And if you remember that fight, you'll remember that Hope had Mattioli on the floor in the first 15 seconds with the left hook. So watch the left hook from Hope and also watch it from Baker. Mike Baker, known in America as Irish Mike Baker from Washington, D.C., born in South Carolina. Baker's 27, the same age as Hope. And this WBC light middleweight championship, sponsored by White and Mackay, being fought for in a British ring for the first time. country claiming to be the best one-punch fighter in the world and a few, da few days later was himself put on the floor in sparring by Danny Snyder, his American traveling companion. How much of that was real and how much of it was for publicity, I'm not sure. But those are the facts. not achieving any of the sensational start that he had against Rocky Mattioli in Italy, but uh, feeling his way carefully. Second round, round two. American's record shows him to be quite durable. He's been stopped only three times in 47 fights, and each time it's been on an injury. He's had a fractured cheekbone and some trouble around the eyes. He's got a graze on his right cheek, Baker. I mentioned earlier that uh, he came into the ring with a lot of puffiness under both eyes, and now, within five minutes of the start of this fight, He's grazed on the right cheek. There's the left hook of Baker's, and he got it in. That's a good round. You can see the mark underneath Baker's right eye. But there are one or two signs in that second round that he's a uh, somewhat dangerous opponent. Second out, round three. in it so far. Two good punches from Hope. Favourite left hook, the follow-up punch, and he's got him with it again. And Baker, despite the pallid appearance and that puffiness around the face, is a durable opponent. Took a couple of Good stiff punches there from Hope, and stood up to them and came back.
afraid to take the fight to hope. Probably done enough already to convince the hope corner that uh, Morris is going to have to work hard. gone and uh, you wouldn't like to say that Morris has anywhere near got on top of him yet. It's still all in the balance after three rounds. Baker's had three fights this year. He's won the lot, including a surprise knockout win over a tough Yugoslav American called Casey Gaichik. Knocked him out with the left hook and surprised a lot of people. He's been boxing since he was 12 years old. fourth round. Morris has done rather more of the leading off in the four rounds and I suppose he's just a fraction ahead at this point. You really couldn't put it more than that. Baker. He's in a lot of trouble there, under a lot of pressure. But he's pulled back. And again he wobbles in the fifth. Now how much of this can Baker take? And he takes it and he comes back again. Good fighter. No push over he. But he's rocking for the third time in this remarkable round. And there's still just under a minute left. The fight has burst into life. The drubbing continues and Baker won't go down. 30 seconds to go. Anxious look from Baker at the referee. I think he thought he'd stopped it. Time running out on Moore if he wants to finish it in this round. All 
over Baker now, but he can't put him down. He hasn't put him down in that fifth round. He handed him the lot, and Baker took it all, and he's still there to come up for round six. Well, that was a marvellous round by Hope. And you could say it was a marvellous round for Baker, because the man showed courage and determination and a willingness to come back, despite the sort of punishment we see here. Because Hope was in full flight, the champion in his first defence, determined to finish it right here and now if he could. And whichever way Baker moved, he couldn't avoid trouble. But still, Hope couldn't put him down. Round six. So with that round, Hope moves nicely into the lead. title in Berlin two years ago against the former holder Eckhard Dagger of West Germany and he was only given a draw although a lot of observers thought he deserved to win it. So this is world title fight number three for Hope and the first one of course for Baker. as he does, stalking his man, he's gone, left hand, he looked as though he might fold, he hadn't done much, and he looks to his corner, he's going to make it up all right, I think, he's up at eight, round seven, one simple looking punch put in there, he's never been stopped without injury, but this could be the first time, backed up in his own corner now, Baker, there doesn't seem to be much left with which to fight back. And he has fought his way out of the corner. That was a brave effort. But he walks out in the centre where he takes more. And he's slowly but surely going. Pretty defenceless now on the ropes. And the referee's not moving in yet. He is now at stop. 
round seven, and Baker's got his arms round Monsieur Balderu, pleading to go on, but it's already been stopped, and he was taking the mother and father of a hammering on the ropes. It's the first time he's been stopped without injury. The corner are complaining very, very bitterly indeed. None of it matters. Hope has retained his WBC light middleweight championship in his first defence. Well, that was a pretty impressive win from Hope against a durable opponent. And Baker, who was given very little chance when he came here, proved himself to be a tough and courageous opponent who in the end couldn't survive under the bombs of Morris Hope. Was very game at and I thought well naturally he's a world title at stake. I should have realized I can every fighter is a challenger, raised to the occasion. And <coughs> he was really stronger than I anticipated also. Because um to me he looked rather frail at the way in. So I thought the weight making took a lot out of him but he really surprised me and came on strong. But <coughs> I saw a bit of him on the videotape and what I saw on the video, he looked as if he's a very good timer and also a counter-puncher, but I think I was doing most of the counter-punching. And <coughs> he really was a good mover th as well than I thought. You know, he was going back, slipping and dodging and uh, really crafty with it. But like I said, I got in my stride and started catching, putting it on target. <laughs>